Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? B Axis, your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Drop Break Hacker, otherwise known as Only Use Me Tomahawk. And some of y'all can always me as easy, like I always say to the black to the blue on my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So I am playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 right now on the PlayStation 2. So this is basically the class I'm setting up. Like I said, I was gonna break down some of the videos, everything towards you. Now, how are y'all doing on this rainy, rainy, wet day? Yes, it is raining. It is Friday, August 9th, 2013 at 2.23 p.m. And yes, I am doing something different because I have a different commentary for y'all for today. Now, I previously did this in my previous commentary when I talked about the PlayStation 4 versus the Xbox One. And I've been getting a lot of fanboys on my page on some stupid ass shit. That's right, I said stupid ass shit. Now, people saying I'm hating on Xbox. Let's see, everybody. What games do I always do unboxings for? What games do I always do reviews on? What games do I always do and talk about? Xbox, right? For those that does follow me, that is subscribed to me, what do I generally own? How many Xbox have I unboxed? How many videos have I did basically talking about the Xbox? How many times have I sat here and talked about why I hate PlayStation? Huh? How many times? Those that subscribe to me and watch my videos, please tell me how many times have I talked about how I hated PlayStation to the fullest. To my knowledge, I talk about that crap all the time. Now, the only reason why I am on the PlayStation 3 now is because I've brought a converter box so I can actually get good footage gameplay of games, which not all games is in 1080p, which I, like I said, I just found out a lot of crap about the PlayStation 3 besides the stuff why I already didn't like about it, which is putting me to the point why I hate the PlayStation 3. But this is not the commentary for that and this is a uh, this gameplay right here it's a killer gameplay I get the last kill this is a 20 and 7 gameplay I believe or 22 and 7 I'm not completely sure what the score was but it's a killer gameplay and I basically kill it it's a part in the game that the game lags then it causes me to actually um start fucking up the whole game because of this lag I think it was just 22 and 7 or 20 and 10 or 20 and 12 something like that I'm not completely sure what the score was but after I got that lag I just started fucking the game up because of the situation cap this dude right here somebody else gun pop turn around pop this dude right there and boom so let's get to the commentary the reason why I switched to the PlayStation 4 is for these main reasons Xbox one you always have to be online now they changed that policy so you don't always have to be online but you do have to be online for the very first time to set up so you can basically get this patch that's going to stop that uh, stipulation that they had from the beginning get go. Okay, we understand that. We, you know, we understand that always online. But when it comes towards other stuff, for example, uh, using the features on the Xbox One. And it's been said by. Microsoft, you need an Xbox Live account to watch Netflix, Hulu Plus, uh, Crackle, any of these other stuff that they have on it. Um, I believe the cable stations, whatever, because they do have a um, uh, HDMI output, so you have to connect to your cable box so you can watch your TV through the Xbox. You also need to have a gold membership. To basically use the DVR caption service, which is only good for five minutes. Really? Five minutes? That's all you're giving us? You have to have that membership. Now, I'm already a member. I already have an Xbox Live account um, gold membership right now. And to use those features, you have to always set it. Now, Sony came back and said, people went on Twitter and tweeted, do we need to have the PlayStation Plus to go online to access the DVR, to access the, the streaming, to access Netflix, to access all the stuff? You know what their answer was? No. Everything is free. 
only thing you need to have a membership for is to play multiplayer. Now I understand why they did it for multiplayer. It's to, I'm just second guessing, but it's to try to stop a lot of these uh, kid gamers. As you can see right here, we killed them. The gameplay is 13.5, and after this person quit, whoever the new host was, they was lagging like hell, like kind of fucked up the game. But what I was saying is, it's kind of reducing those kids. So if they do have the Xbox One, a lot of times in the chance that they're not going to get a PlayStation, you know, they still got to get the PlayStation, then they got to play for the membership, and, you know, I can understand this, but this dude right here was supposed to have been dead right there, then when I'm shooting, he quits out of the game while I'm shooting him, then I get killed right here, ain't that a bullshit ass move, but, um, you got to use, have all these features, then, always online, then, uh, like I said, they took off the always online stuff off, but, PlayStation is giving you more free everything now Xbox is not doing this they're not giving you free to play games at launch PlayStation has confirmed this and mentioned that at launch when you first get your PlayStation 4 you will have 16 free to play games I believe it's 16 or 10 free to play games at launch day one right there now you're probably saying okay they're giving you extra stuff they're giving you the connect it's mandatory for you to have that connect. It's mandatory for you to use that connect. That's why it's included towards it. The reason why Sony is not giving you the camera is because it's not mandatory. Sony has even said it themselves that the eye toy is not mandatory because it's up to the developers to develop games for the camera. And you know why that makes it better? Because we don't have to be stuck with something that's going to listen to our conversation or watch us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days in another year. That's what I like about it. But this game's coming to an end. That's the reason why I made my choice about it. There's a lot more stuff. I'm going to put a link in the description to IGN. Talk about everything. Which both consoles comes with the things. Like I said, I'm not going to get it until Xbox, you know, so I really feel that they actually want to do that. Like a famous quote says, I could get a good look at a T-bone by sticking my head up a bull's ass, but I'd rather take a butcher's word for it. But, as me saying that, until Xbox proved to me that it's going to be what it's going to be, I don't trust it. I'm not going to listen to it. I don't want to deal with it. So, as that being said, like I just told you, um, I'm going to wrap up this commentary in a few. That's the reason why I basically chose... The Xbox um chose the PlayStation um four over the Xbox One because of those situations. And this is the last kill right there. And I tear it up. I was get, trying to get that last kill, but it wasn't gonna let me get it. A 20 and 12 gameplay right there from your boy Daddy Easy. So it's your boy Daddy Easy here. iPod Jar Break Hacker. Only use me Tomahawks. Y'all know me as Easy. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace and deuces. Love it, live it, game it.